done. Well, isn't this lovely? The most snow ever over the pond. And yes, as you can see by that electrical plug there, we still have the pump going for the bog. And we get goldfish under there in the pond. This is providing a nice, lovely thermal barrier. Look at that. There, there's the bog section over there. You can see part of the wood on the side. Completely covered over. And I mean, you know, we already know what this fence and all this stuff looks like during the summer. Now look at all this snow halfway up the fence. Yep, fun stuff. Fast forward several months since the last clip. The snow is still here, but not for too much longer. It is warm, it is pouring off of there. Almost seems like it's raining. But it's just snow. I'm dripping off of that. As it melts. Frozen footprints. <laughs> Soon to be going bye bye. We can see our bog filter is still running just fine. Weeks go by. We still got a pretty good freeze on it. My dad shoveled some of the uh, <laughs> snow into the bog to, to melt into it. That's how we can see that there's a lot of melting. Yeah, and um, if you notice those spots right there, those are footprints. So, but maybe you're wondering, who would have been absolutely freaking stupid dumb enough to walk on a, on a frozen pond Seeing as that's one of the most dumbest, dangerous things you could do in the middle of winter. Because if it breaks and you fall in, you could get deathly sick or die. Well, we switched from Dish Network to DirecTV. Um, and, you know, the DirecTV service is a lot better, I admit. But the installer guy wasn't all that incredibly bright. And my dad said, well, we showed him the pond and he said not to walk on it. And he said that it's dangerous and everything and to stay off of there. But because this direct TV guy was an idiot, first thing he does is walk all over the pond. <laughs> so, you know, whatever, his life he's playing with. About a week or so later now, and here's the pond again. A lot more has melted. <clears throat> Ding dong dish network, it's dead. We switched to direct TV, which is much better. Although the installer guy was a bit of a twit, as I mentioned. Oh my goodness, you can still partially see the footprints on the pond from the installer guy. There's one right there, one right there, one right there. We told him, hey buddy, when you go to install the dish for direct TV, and that's it right there. We told him, hey man, 
see all this? This is pond. Frozen pond. Don't walk on that because if any of the ice breaks and you fall through, that could be really bad. So don't walk on that. So what's the first thing the dipshit does? Ta-da! Guy was not too bright. I mean, hey, DirecTV is a lot better than Dish. I can vouch for that. But that installer was not the brightest star in the sky, if you know what I mean. Anyway, as we can see... It's been doing good all winter. Can't check on the goldfish yet. And they are in here. Ice is still too thick for that yet. But another week of this kind of warmer weather. And we will be able to check up on them. That's a lot. Dad's having fun breaking some of the end stuff up over here. Water looks nice and clean. That bog does the job. Just imagine what the indoor bog will do once we create that. It's still pretty solid. Yeah, it I can't is. believe that guy walked on it. You can see the footprints. I know. The guy was a fool. Just like he closed my window up there the wrong way. You know those those windows only close one way, they slide yeah. left and right. And then he couldn't get the HDMI thing to work on my TV. See, all I did was plug it in and it magically just worked. <laughs> and then the fool wrecked the wood running the wire through and now I gotta get a cover to cover up the alive. damage. Yeah, it is. Amazing. It's living through the winter. A lot of things live through the winter. Yeah, even people. <laughs> wow. Hard as a rock. But yeah, I had mentioned earlier on the video how that DirecTV installer guy was a twat. The DirecTV service is better, but that installer guy was not bright at all. We tell we, 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 we tell him don't walk on here. First damn thing he does is walk on here. Oh, the second guy was good, but the first guy looked like he was stoned on something. He was a ditz. Hey, we did all the heavy work. Like a dumb blonde, but without the blonde, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Plenty of dumb, though. That's what she said. Hello, Birdie. Nature's giving you the bird. There we go. For the rain dance, this is a snow dance. Ice dance. Going. Yeah. Carol's gonna be 61. Yeah. Tree pervert over here using this big hard wood on the pond. Breaking up the ice. Probably that snow still lasts. Look at that. It won't give up. It will eventually. The yard's all full of water from its melting. Oh yeah. Welcome to Lake. it's been easy working. Welcome to way. welcome to Lake Kelso over yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> Flooding out. It's been wor working its way under the garage coming out. Yep. There's some more of the old dish cables. Yeah, it's all over the place. He must have threw it there. Yeah, he wasn't very bright. Yeah, I'll call him Stormy. There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record it Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot.
Kaden Live. 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 Live.